this video we're going to clean up our form because we're about to start working on this quite a bit and we're going to be adding some more advanced elements and before we do that I'd rather just make this look a little bit better so that's what we're going to do in this video so first thing we're going to do is get out of our app and quit the server and then go into your app directory then the app directory views invoices and then form and open up that file okay and now we have our regular form file and it's not really stylized right now this is just kinda what comes right out of the box and so what we're gonna do is add some better looking uh, bootstrap styling for it so the very first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a row up here at the top so we'll do div class equals row and because we're essentially wrapping this up we'll add a div at the end and then we will indent all of this okay so that's already gonna help it out a little bit and now what we're gonna do is put in some styling inside of the form itself and so to do that you just go in front of each one and so we have div class field but instead of field what we want to do is we want to call this a control group so I'll do div class control group and then let's copy and paste that for each one because each one of them is going to have the same thing okay and now we want to get our label styled and so to style a label the right way we're going to do same thing f dot label date then comma class and we're gonna call this control label and that's just calling the control label class and then we'll paste it in for each one okay and that's all good okay and the last thing we're gonna do is right below this we're going to put in another div and we're going to div class controls and let's copy and paste this one in front of each text field And the other thing we are going to do is also put it in front of our submit form. Okay. And now the last thing that we have to do in order to get the styling is end the div. And we're also going to indent it just to make it look a little bit better. So do that below each one. Okay, hit save, start up the server, and let's see what it looks like now. Okay, go to invoices, and new invoice. And it actually looks the same, which means that I forgot to put one thing in, and I believe let's see yes it's right up here so go up here and do form 4 and take out the paragraph tag and then uh, do a comma and HTML and then put that inside of a block and so we'll do class form horizontal and that and let's see okay that should work hit save come back then hit refresh okay that's much better um, some of it is still thrown off a little bit though so we'll have to see so exactly why tax is showing up over here so we'll go and see tax okay we have oh well that would definitely make sense and you 
as you were watching, you probably saw that. Uh, okay, yeah, it's very important where you put the control label. Come back, hit refresh. Perfect. Okay, so that looks a lot better. We'll also fix this button. So if we come back and do F submit and then just say submit class button button default hit save there you go so uh, this is already looking better there's just one last thing we're gonna do in this video to just clean up the form and that is change up this uh, date field because we don't need to know the exact time the invoice is created because we'll have a or this isn't even when it's created this is just when you're saying the date is and you're not usually going to have to do that so by default it gives you this date time but we're just going to need a date field so if you come back up and instead of doing date time select we're just going to do date select so get rid of that hit save come back hit refresh and there you go so now let's put a test one in just to make sure everything's working and we should probably go in the past not in the future and we'll say ABC plumbing again and tax rate of 6.5 and salesperson is me hit submit and that worked let's make sure and there we go so we have that data entered and it looks like it's working as it should. So you now know how to style the form and in the very next video what we're going to do is we're going to keep on working on this form and we're going to do some things like add collection sorts. So when you want to pick from a salesperson database so you don't have to manually type this in but you can actually have a drop down and pick from a list of different users so we're going to create a salesperson database and then show how you can build a uh, drop down for that so i'll see you in the next video